Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog again. I have a special surprise for you today. And I'm about to unveil it to you. I've went through so much hard work for this, I can't even begin to tell you what I've gone through, all the walking I think I already have. And finally after a bunch of issues and just crack cars not working in the UK, well here I am. This is work now, I'm gonna show you. I can't believe I, I have this now, but I'll show you in just a second. So here is, uh, the car. I got a new car here in the UK and here is where it is. Got four seats in total. Got a boot in the back as they say. Yeah, it's the trunk. And it's actually bigger than you think. Completely, completely bigger and uh, able to fill in my own in a minute here. There we go. All right. I can't believe I finally have this after over two years. It's insane. Ugh. Okay. Wow, this uh, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Wow. Um. So yeah, I bought this uh, car. I got a deal on it from uh, I think seventeen ninety five to fifteen ninety five pounds, about two thousand forty something dollars, two thousand twenty five if it would wait till the pound lost a little bit of value or the dollar went up. But you can see right back here. There's definitely more space back there. You can fold the seats over, but there's more space in it. It looks like back there. I was also surprised when I saw, I'll show you. I put my baggage in coming up, but wow, it's actually like not bad. And that's because I can clean this up more. And then when I'm done, saw it, I can go get bulk water, drive wherever I want, do all kinds of things. And it's absurd. It's a manual, so I have to go ahead and uh, drive normal gears here. But oh, I'm so excited I can actually drive somewhere. What do you think of it? Oh, I love it actually. Yeah, it's great, it's great. Wow, can you believe we did it? <laughs> I'm so used to sitting here, it's so disorienting. Please, I want to sit here. I really want to sit here. What? Uh, it feels unnatural. I like the right, the, the left side driving is on the right side. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm very happy today. A lot of dopamine flowing in my brain. I still have if my survive get gasoline. Uh, it's really good by the way, 50 miles a gallon. Just about like 49 something. And uh, lower 40s and we're driving in the city more. So the best cars in the market is barely reached 60 miles a gallon. So this is like definitely an impressive gas mileage. And it has to be because when you think about it, it's seven pounds a gallon here, it's 350 pounds. If you divide that by two, gas mileage of 25 miles a gallon. It's actually just close to the price of driving my truck in a lot of ways for the gas mileage because of how much more expensive it is here in the US. But still, the fact that I got caught like this instead of something 20 or 30 miles a gallon, this actually makes it more like able to be driven similar to the US. A little bit more expensive than a car there still, but not much. And compared to the trains and buses here, it's pretty good. Wow, Fiat uh, Punto Grande 2007. So, nothing like a like a fancy sports car or anything, but amazing to insure. Got a whole year of insurance for 780 pounds or so, and I got the road tax paid for just under 100 pounds for six months. Could have done a whole year for uh, 180, but um, it's cheap for everything, right? Cheap for, for insurance because you can pay 2,000, 2,000 pounds easy in a year, and I got this for under 800. So, I just did pure liability essentially just for the other person. Because uh, I drive pretty safe, make sure I'm alright. But yeah, I gotta get used to driving this, and uh, it's been over two years, so I'm so excited. So, 103,000 miles on it or so, I think. Check in, but it goes up to 140 miles an hour. Not bad, actually. <laughs> Not bad at all. Wow. So, oh, oh, what do you think? Oh, uh, it's four doors. Too. Yeah, four doors. Yeah. I feel like a human, just like, damn, I have something. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, I got right back here. Perfect. We open up the, the trunk as well here. How yeah, do we do this? No? Hey, there we go. So here is this. It's actually, like I said, bigger than you would think. And you can fit all kinds of stuff in it back here. Really cool. I feel like there was a spill there a little bit before I saw when I was buying it, but I didn't care. This was a damn good deal for buying it from a dealership. Other people were selling two or three thousand. 
pound cars minimum. That's a uh, that's a fill my baggage right there and then some. I'm in shock, just like I was able to afford this great great news. I hope that was not too hard. So brilliant, what a great deal. Just uh, amazing. I don't know if you can see the moon up there, but. Yeah, we're gonna go out to the market and take all kinds of pictures. Imagine if I had this in Brazil, I could have taken pictures of. Yeah. So, guess um, you're gonna record me probably now. I'm gonna go try to drive. Wish me luck. Oh. Okay. Oh. Here I go. So, uh, here I am behind the wheel. Oh boy, uh, this is gonna be fun. Ah. Uh, oh god. Okay. Yeah, I can I can imagine uh, this going fun. I can imagine this going really fun. Wish me luck. I'm gonna try not to get into an accident and uh, be okay with the stick shift on the right side. One I haven't uh, I, I drove in, in two years, over two years. So right side and manual that I'm still not like, used to much, uh, but I drove I drove it. Okay. So yeah, it's fun. Basically everything is fighting against me to get this and Working against me and like even, even her she was kind of like at some point being like is it really worth it and uh, My family was also like yeah, not wanting it and fine. I did it. So got a car So I can go out and like actually be able to go to places where I need to to pass it or I go get water and bulk and spin elastic I'll even live in the car if I have to for some reason for a short time and uh just survive it's it's a place you know it's a place to to be no matter what it's better than the cold streets so oh it's so nice okay so i'm gonna get ready to start is it closed yeah can you move the seat back a little bit is this the seat it's a bit small isn't it for me is there one move the seat back more there we go okay so um Ignition is still there, okay. And of course, this. So cool the way that it is. <laughs> My finger's always in the way. Oh god. 103,800 miles. Oh yeah. You gotta put some gas in it as well. So it's not much gas here, Sean? No, it's on. Bit under a quarter, so. Is barely anything. I'll drive you a good amount with the MPG on this, but it's not good. Good to keep on half. Let's see. Oh boy. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Bad there. Okay, how do I do this? Do you understand? Okay, I know. They haven't even started yet, bro. I'm a dumbass. Okay, I'm I'm not driven so long. I didn't even start. Oh frick! Oh, okay. okay, let's go. There we go. Now it's gonna go. Make sure I'm in first. Is that in first? There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this and uh, talk to you in a bit. Okay, so I drove around. I uh, haven't gotten to an accident yet. This has been insane. Um, yeah, I really don't know. There's a car back there, and. Uh, I'm just really scared uh, about like how to drive and ah frig I don't want to ruin the clutch at all so an no idea out here now as well so I'm gonna kind of go inside here and uh, just kind of see how things are and I'll see you wherever I'm going next okay so I'm back home now and it's been hell like with a manual I remember back when I used to drive a few times and uh, farm more and uh, even in the countryside it was horrible with that and uh, not better here uh, I'm trying to run over people and having issues with that, so uh, it's just gonna get some point A to point people are gonna go put 50 pounds in so that's 62 dollars. I think maybe is it correct the reverse turns out doesn't work well, gears one through five work fine So the reverse doesn't there's a warranty on it. I'm gonna go see what I can do with it. So Anyways though had to push the car to go backwards a really awkward situation in some ways uh, have to be careful where I'm going or at least I found out in the parking lot so yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna just go to a person's place tomorrow for the passing and uh, 
take things from there and see what I can do. So uh, I'll probably see you on the drive down there tomorrow. Okay, so we just got everything packed down that way. We're uh, about finished up here. Everything just about still done, so yeah, looks uh, pretty decent, looks pretty nice. Looks like uh, things are going kind of all right. We're gonna be in the next place in the next couple hours, so hopefully everything goes okay. These next people got cocksuckers, like again, more than like, maybe the first people, they kept calling me by my wrong name as well, so that's fun, kept calling me Jason. Yeah, we're going to, let's go ahead and head on, get ready to pack all the baggage in the car to way downstairs, so I'll see you then. I have arrived in Crediton, and this place is relatively decent. I see it's in the middle. I was in pretty poor before, and this is middle. So, got these areas around here. Uh, here's the main kitchen area. The patio's out here and everything. I'll show you that in a little bit, but... It's not bad at all. So, like, most of my vlogs are gonna just be like, just like house tour now, basically. But yeah, you can see it's rather nice and beautiful in some ways here. Very nice collections. If only I owned any of this. The new pet, Lily. Hi, Lily. Say hi. Hi, Lily. Hi. I'm not gonna go there because she's getting it to me for now. She uh, was growling at me some, so I'm gonna just kind of chill out with that a little bit. Um, let's see here. Got this part here. Small area for just a refrigerator and sink and stuff. And then we go over here. Much more organized in the first place by far that I went to see. Are you okay, Lily? Hi. Here we go. She's looking at me there. Have Soraya here. But you can't focus. There's my car, I believe, right out. There he is. I believe that's my car. So that's uh, pretty cool. And a very beautiful painting I saw as well just now. Very, very nice. Not to be decent size TV. First place of the biggest TV, so. And, yeah, again, the patio just goes out there that way. The front area, went ahead and plopped all my baggage down here. Just completely put it there, so. So that all fit brilliant, brilliantly into the back of the car. Uh, wonderful. And there's another bathroom right back here. I haven't been in here much. But, uh, I don't know why I call it a bathroom. It should be a toilet room. They call it the loo here. But, uh, oh, damn, flying here, always fly. Oh, the fly. There's not a small bad in here at all. It smells uh, very nice. You have this freaking fly, dude. Oh. Hey, hey. Really? 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 Hi. Hey, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she'll come around. It takes a few days. I'm only here a few days, unfortunately. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, just some random stuff for babies, different things, not much back there, really, no. not much. No, there's a snack. It's this one. Is there a good That's pretty good. Then Purina. Oh, that's interesting. So, here, we just have this small hallway area, a little bit. Uh, some stuff for the fish food and everything here. Yeah, her food, the dog food. Uh, dog's food back there. And, uh, and uh, he's got her play area over here for the baby as well and stuff, so, so yeah, not too much uh, to show there. We got one of the doors here. Let's go this way. All right. Perfect. So here's out the main front area. Here's uh, the front of the house more here. Well, in the other way, but... I'm gonna take it back up front. So all kinds of different vegetation here. Let's see if I can go through here. Perfect. All right. Oh come on, you're rusty. Yeah, that that'll work. Okay. So I can't see anything, but I'm gonna show you the garden. Some up, some up around here. Oh, they have strawberries. Oh freak! There must have been spider's web or something there. They have strawberries here. We can eat anything we want out of the garden. They said, by the way. So. I have some fresh strawberries, fresh salad, got some potatoes there, which probably aren't ready yet. Some of them could be a little bit ready for some potatoes. And all kinds of lettuce right back there. I don't know if I can, see if you can see properly, but um, yeah, all over through here. Hopefully this is good enough. Wow, 
It's a uh, nice garden I got I'm actually quite surprised got a rock transition there and I can't see anything basically hopefully I can show you enough I didn't see the strawberries that's delicious look at that freaking delicious mmm yeah yeah I really can't see okay there yeah here's the outside of the house there so you can see oh, anyways there's some rhubarb right down there very nice all kinds of different things up and over that way huh. so I think I don't know if it's a husband that grows this but he's very nice a lot of grapes there even I think maybe wonderful some tame sunflowers already growing one yeah must not be getting enough nutrients probably to grow super super tall but back here all kinds of these are blackberries or raspberry I think it's a blackberry yeah not raspberry I think it looks like a blackberry by the shape all kinds all kinds mm, mm, mm. not much back that way at all no so yeah not bad at all lots and lots of stuff there oh actually I think there are some ra actual raspberries back there maybe that look more red and these are more blackberries yeah because you can see the color of those leaves back there are lighter so um, probably the raspberry some tomatoes and different stuff in here not red yet some peppers there what kind of pepper is that oh it's some type of chili pepper there based on what i'm seeing hopefully you can see that as well yeah down there so i'm out looking for i didn't know if my car had the charger or not but it does so i should have got that lidl when i was there in german store and i can plug that in but i'll pick that up on my way somewhere else probably and get the for gas as well but they got all kinds of beans back there it looks like as well and i never saw beans that looked like this in general before it's absurd it's amazing really really truly amazing they got little beans all over this never saw beans like this right yeah crazy uh, i could look a little better with some of the beans but anyways got some broccoli growing where is that yeah at the top of the head right over there um there's some normal beans i'm used to right that way i don't know what this maybe these aren't these can't be beans you said beans are they be they look similar to beans they really do but i never saw that i need to go ahead and actually check that on google but yes it's a bit crazy kinds of potatoes there they even put the dirt up on them he knows what he's doing Looks like he's got like a cantaloupe plant back there you can see right right there perfect and there's all kinds of potatoes here don't know what that one is back there but anyways besides that oh let's see we got this main area over here the patio we can go walk over this way here and it's quite beautiful waterproof take it in the winter but it's a waterproof here and uh you sell here through wine, whatever you want. And it's your fish over here. Have some fish on the Right back down there. Hopefully some fish show up maybe. Oh yeah, all kinds of cool, cool things. There's the front of the house there. As you can see. So yeah, very very nice in general I see. And I think can I go back in the front here somewhere? Let me see. Yeah, this just takes you right back into the front area for parking, small parking area. Not much uh, to do. It's like a small parking area, but I think, uh, there's Lily. Hi, Lily. And I'm probably not going to go in that way, maybe. I think she might have an issue with me. I might try. Uh, this is open. No, no, it's locked anyways. Okay, I'll go around the other way. Lot doors and place, and she also had toilets as well. Hmm. 
weird. It's an animal. Okay. Hopefully she's okay with me. Come. Okay, so uh, that's the bottom area, basically. Because I showed you the kitchen good enough, I think. Small mini fridge down there in, in the... Let me see. Small mini fridge down right in here. You never know it, but uh, that's pretty cool to so have whatever you need. That that one sack there, the green sack's mine. Some uh, prawns and stuff I had. Went ahead and uh, cooked some stuff for the people in last place as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you upstairs here real quick. Nice carpets. Alright. Here's another bathroom over here. And it's... Yeah, it functions. It's small. Yeah. It's alright. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, so... We got up here. Look all the way down there. Yeah, fun stuff. What's in here? Oh yeah, just towels and stuff, that's right. She was showing us that. But uh, other than that, here's the bathtub. You wanna go do something, you know, have a bath, all that. And yeah, looks like it's a good decent place in general. Right. So it works great. But they even have stuff like what is it? <laughs> uh people are definitely more organized, like definitely. So these are radiators as well. Always on the wall. Um just a different bedroom that they stay in there. Just another bedroom that uh, they stay in as well there. Yeah, it's a bit decent, like big in general. Not bad at all. And then... Yeah, there is a fancy toilet there, right? It's nice. Um, it's the place for the baby there and everything. Very great view. The window, cute little room. And here's our room where we'll be staying at. And yeah, it's quite nice. Quite nice in general, it's not the biggest, not the smallest, it works. The other room I think is like the master one more, but yeah. A couple of people they got here. Very interesting. Just crazy looking at people and their families and everything and Probably won't show because I don't know if I can show stuff like this much online without permission or I don't know. I need to look into that for the lawyer, but people have more money. Definitely have more like a snobby look to their faces. Always, is, you know, it's crazy. Always being poor and suffering makes you have an, a unique look as well. It's bizarre. Anyways, that's like the whole house tour essentially. I think so. There's that. So I would have showed you some stuff while driving, but especially with a manual, it's very hard, and she's kind of navigating for me, helping, so it's going to be difficult and all that, but... Anyways, yeah, it works. Uh, it works as it works. So, I got the computer there as well. I'm trying to open that door. Don't know how to open that door. Uh. Okay, back outside. Oh, that door out here. Oh, so yeah, pretty windy. Of course, they weren't driving. So, of course, they have a pig set over there. Like that's another thing. People have more money, love pigs more for some reason. I always saw that, like swine type things. And they, I, I was telling them in the vlog as well, people who have more money, not just like having more pigs and swine stuff, but they have like a more snobby look to their face. I always look at their pictures in their room. And it's like poor people have a specific look, but rich people have a specific look where it's like, always like, like, like my family, some of them who had more money as well, would really always look that way as well. 
always the same thing. Money changes your I think it changes your brain more when you've always had it. I think people have that look more when they've always had it. But if you get it through sometime in your life, I think it's not like that. So other than that, still a bit dirty here kinda. But I think it's set here some. Ah, oh, I'm not the cleanest. So ah, oh, there's another area there. What's in there? Oh, it's nice to set, it's been so long. Oh, it's beautiful. What a beautiful place we got for a few days here. And heading back up towards Liverpool after this. Oh, all for free, kinda. Can you believe it's for free? Wow. Well, intelligence pays off. Like, we, we worked like hell to have a car and this and everything. And worked intelligently. Intelligence pays. Truly, truly does. What do you think of the place? Really yeah, I showed them everywhere there. And... Mm. So I'm gonna probably maybe drive around, see a couple markets if there's something here, but uh, look at some food and water and all that, and uh, just kind of relax. That's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. You have anything to add before I end it? Yeah, pretty small, trying to drive a small, narrow road because it's a rural area more. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, it's very nice. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed. If there's anything you want to say or speak about, please let me know in the comments. And hopefully this wind goes away at some point. Other than that, I look forward to seeing what you have to say. And I guess anything else I don't know I appreciate all the support anything else and uh, maybe I actually know how people respond to these vlogs once I start uploading them so anyways that's it for today just hit 20 minutes and 3 seconds on this one so I have a bunch of others to add to this it's a long vlog as usual thank you so much and I will see you in the next one I'll probably start today or tomorrow I don't know and until then goodbye